Hey guys, Mr. Rossi bringing you a nuclear gameplay with the M8A7 on the map Evac. I was actually versing uh, one of my <laughs> group members, clan members, however you want to look at it, and somehow, I don't know how I managed this, I managed to nuke him. Now he has like a 660, 670 score per minute overall, about a 2.53 KD, one of the others. And uh, like, I honestly, I got really lucky in this gameplay. I was just lucky enough to keep my streaks going and stay alive. And, you know, this game really rewards people once you get haters. Um, I was playing solo, so I, I think he was in a three-man. Uh, so I thought it was worth um, uploading just because he's a really solid player. And, yeah, I just got real lucky. And I don't know if I'm going to make a series on this, like a like a nuclear against tryhard series or something. I think that would be pretty cool. Or even just, like, really good games against good players. Um, let me know if you do want to see that, especially, you know, coming into the next COD when that comes out and stuff. I think it would be cool to actually show videos of me going really, really well against really good players. Um, because a lot of the time, you know, these days in, you know, public matches and stuff, a lot of the players aren't bad. People are getting better and better as the game progresses, um, whether it's Black Ops 3 or whether it's all other CODs. Here I got lucky at the Pop Beavis really quick um, just to stay alive there. So, before anyone says you're a sponge lord, I probably am. No, <laughs> but honestly, yeah, I was thinking about make, maybe making a series on this. Um, obviously, you can't nuke um, good players all the time. It's basically luck or, you know, chem strike, DNA bomb, whatever you want to call it. Um, so, let me know if you do want to see that as a series, you know, where I play good players just by chance, you know, if they have, like... Because a lot of the time, I do find a lot of people that aren't bad. Like, I find a lot of 2, 3 KD players that aren't bad. Um, some games obviously will don't go my way, um, and I won't go, you know, I won't go 3, 4 KD myself, uh, but if you do want to see the, those sort of gameplays against really good players, let me know. Um, it sort of is a good thing, um, re-watching those games as well, because it does seem to help you out a lot. Uh, you seem to play a little bit different, uh, when you verse good players. And you really take it for granted. Like, honestly, after you verse scrubs all day, um, you'll find that you just, you don't really have that crispy shot, you know? Like this M8, for example, you can be really bad with it. You can three to four burst kids. Even if you're on a shit connection and people say they're on a shit connection and complain, this gun is a two burst weapon most times. It's four bullets to kill. You can either hit one burst or you hit two bursts to kill someone. If you're hitting two bursts, you should be able to kill them. And uh, this gun, um, when you verse noobs all day, um, it can be a little bit tedious. You can sort of slowly lose your aim on it. And it's like that with any gun. So make sure you always concentrate and make sure you always focus on keeping your aim steady. And yeah, I noticed versing good players, it really does help with that. And it really does help, you know, fine tune your skills now. This gameplay is starting to wrap up. V Dogs, man, if you're watching this, this is the nuke that I messaged you um, that time when I said I got a nuke. I was pretty surprised. Obviously, you know how this game ended at the end. Um, I basically got wrecked um, for everyone watching. After I got the nuke um, and the one unstoppable, after that, we ended up losing the game, and I went from going like 40 and 0 to like 44 and like. 15 or something like you, you know how it is once you lose the streak you just keep going but anyway i hope you enjoyed the gameplay please subscribe, share comments and welcome i'll catch you later peace